हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंथुजियास लर्निंग होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन टूडे वी विल डू वेट्स दिस वीडियो इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर क्लास इलेवन जे नीट एंड के वी पी वाई सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वे इट इज अ डिस्टर्बेंस कैरिंग एनर्जी विच ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर टाइप्स ऑफ वेव्स mechanical waves and non mechanical waves mechanical waves waves that require a medium for their propagation are called mechanical waves example waves on a string water sound wave etc there are two types of mechanical waves number 1 transverse wave and number 2 longitudinal waves now non mechanical waves waves that do not require medium for their propagation are called non mechanical waves example de broglie's waves and electromagnetic waves transverse waves here particle motion is in perpendicular to the wave motion example string waves or waves on water longitudinal waves here particle motion is along the wave motion example sound waves longitudinal waves or waves in a string now equations of traveling function equation gives a method to find position on any particle at time t y is a sin kx minus omega t when wave is traveling in positive x direction and y is equals to a sin kx plus omega t when wave is traveling in the negative x direction now parameters of traveling function first angular wave number radian per meter k is equals to 2 pi by lambda now angular frequency radian per second omega is equals to 2 pi by t lambda is equals to v into t and v is equals to omega by k it should be continuous differentiable and bounded for all values of x now velocity of transverse waves on a stretched string v is equals to under root t by mu t is equals to tension in the string and mu is mass per unit length kg meter inverse now velocity of longitudinal wave in any medium is given by v is equals to under root e by rho where e is the coefficient of elasticity and rho is the density of the medium now newton's formula according to newton the propagation of longitudinal waves in a gas is an isothermal process therefore velocity of longitudinal waves in a gas should be v is equals to under root e t by rho which is equals to p by rho where et is an isothermal coefficient of volume and it is equal to the pressure of the gas now the laplace correction according to the laplace the pro the propagation of longitudinal wave is an adiabatic process therefore velocity of longitudinal wave in a gas should be v is equals to under root es upon rho which is equals to gamma p upon rho where es is the adiabatic coefficient of volume elasticity and it is equals to gamma into p now factors affecting velocity of longitudinal wave number 1 effect of pressure the fo formula of volume of sound in a gas is v is equals to rho p by rho is equals to root rt by n therefore p by rho remains constant and constant temperature hence there is no effect of pressure on velocity of longitudinal wave second effect of temperature velocity of longitudinal wave in a gas is v is equals to under root gamma into p upon rho which is also is equals to root rt by m here v is directly proportional to under root t so we can write that v1 upon v2 is equals to root t1 by t2 velocity of sound in a gas is directly proportional to the square root of its absolute temperature 
if v naught and v t are velocities of sound in air at zero degree Celsius and t degree Celsius, then v t is equals to v naught into one plus t by two seventy three raised to power half, or v t is equals to v naught plus point six one t. Effect of density. The velocity of sound in gaseous medium is V is directly proportional to 1 upon under root P. So we can write that V1 upon V2 is equals to rho 2 upon rho 1. The velocity of sound in a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of density of the gas. Effect of humidity. The velocity of sound increases with increase in humidity in the air. Now the superposition of waves. Two or more progressive waves can travel simultaneously in the medium without affecting the motion of one another. Therefore, resultant displacement of each particle of the medium at any instant is equal to the vector sum of the displacement produced by two waves separately. This principle is called the principle of superposition. Now interference. When two waves of same frequency travel in a medium simultaneously in the same direction, then due to their superposition, the resultant intensity at any point of the medium is different from the sum intensities of the two waves. At some points in the intensity of the resultant wave is very large, while at some other points it is very small or zero. This phenomenon is called interference of waves. Now beats. When two sound waves of nearly equal frequencies are produced simultaneously, then intensity of resultant sound produced by their superposition increases and decreases alternately with time. This rise and fall intensity of sound is called beats. The number of maxima or minima heard in one second is called beats frequency. The difference of frequency should not be more than 10. Sound persists on human eardrums for 0.1 second. Hence, beats will not be heard if the frequency difference increases 10. Number of beats heard per second is equal to n1 minus n2 which is difference of frequencies of two waves. Maximum amplitude is equals to A1 plus A2 and maximum intensity is equals to maximum amplitude whole square which is equals to A1 plus A2 whole square. For loudness, the time intervals are 1 upon N1 minus N2 comma 2 upon N plus minus N2. Now stationary or standing waves. When two similar waves propagate in a bounded medium in opposite directions, then due to their superposition, a new type of wave is obtained, which appears stationary in the medium. This wave is called the stationary or the standing wave. Equation of stationary wave is y is equal to 2a sin 2 pi t upon capital T cos 2 pi x by lambda. Nodes and antinodes are obtained alternatively in a stationary waves. At nodes, the displacement of particle remains minimum and strain is maximum. Pressure and density variations are maximum. At antinodes, the displacement of particle remains maximum, strain is minimum. Pressure and density variations are minimal. The distance between two consecutive nodes or two consecutive antinodes is lambda by 2. The distance between a node and adjoining antinode is equal to lambda by 4. All the particles between two nodes vibrate in the same phase. Particles on two sides of node vibrate in opposite their phase. N consecutive nodes are separated n by n minus l into lambda by 2.
Now, vibration in a stretch string. Velocity of transfer waves in stretch string is given by V is equals to under root T by M. Where T is the tension in the string and M is the mass per unit length of the string. Fundamental frequency or frequency of the first harmonic. N1 is equals to V by 2L which is equals to 1 by 2L under root T by M. Frequency of first overtone or second harmonic is N2 is equals to 2 into V by 2L which is equals to 2 into N1. Frequency of second overtone or third harmonic is 3V by 2L which is equals to 3 times N1. So N1 is to N2 is to N3 is equals to 1 is to 2 is to 3 and so on. Now organ pipes. Organ pipes are those cylindrical pipes which are used for producing musical sounds. Organ pipes are of two types open organ pipe and closed organ pipe. Open organ pipe whose cylindrical pipes open at both ends. Closed organ pipe, cylindrical pipes open at one end and closed at the other end. Fundamental note. That is the sound of lowest frequency produced in fundamental note. Vibration of a system. Overtones. Tones having frequencies greater than the Riemann note are called the overtones. Harmonics. When the frequency of overtone are integral multiples of the fundamental, then they are known as harmonics. Thus, note of lowest frequency n is called the fundamental note or the first harmonics. The note of frequency 2n is called the second harmonic or the first overtone. Now, vibrations in open organ pipe. Fundamental frequency or the frequency of the first harmonic is n1 is equal to 2v by l. Now the first overtone or the second harmonic is N2 is equal to 2V by 2L which is equal to twice N1. Frequency of the second overtone or the third harmonic is 3V by 2L which is equal to 3 times N1. So N1 is to N2 is to N3 is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3. Therefore, even and odd harmonics are produced by an open organ pipe. Now, vibrations in closed organ pipe. Fundamental frequency or the frequency of first harmonic is N1 is equal to V by 4L. Now, the first harmonic or the third harmonic N3 is equal to 5 times V by 4L which is equals to 5 times n1. Here n1 is to n2 is to n3 is 1 is to 3 is to 5. So only even harmonics are produced by a closed organ pipe. That is it for waves. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel and like the video.